What is going on guys, Lottery Stocks here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Today, we are going to be touching on the 8K that was just filed and I know you might be already caught up to date, but I do wanna to touch on my thoughts on it and what could be happening going forward based on what basically was stated in this filing uh, and in this settlement. So the lawsuit is in order to be complete, but the court has not passed it yet. And I wanna give my thoughts on it. Without further ado, please just like the video, subscribe to the channel, it's free, let's get into it. Okay, so this was just filed. However, it was agreed upon apparently Currently on April 2nd so we didn't see it uh, until last night and a lot of people have been freaking out about what's happening with their shares if the status quo is lifted from the company yada 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 they're basically saying if this does happen if this settlement does go through then the conversion the reverse split will happen so on and so forth now what basically happened was AMC agreed to pay a settlement now you might be asking a few things why would AMC agree to pay this were they afraid were they afraid of something getting exposed? Was Adam Aaron afraid of getting something exposed after being deposed, so on and so forth? But that is something that is all speculation going forward. And what actually is meaningful is that this could have taken months to years to never getting resolved. Therefore, if AMC really wanted to clear debt, they would uh, do a settlement so that the reverse split and the conversion can go through so they can move on with the company, which looks like exactly what they did. Basically, most of these civil lawsuits, these civil cases, uh, they, they agree on a settlement to try and get it resolved. Instead of taking it to trial and paying all of these other type of fees, they would rather just get it over with. Now, uh, the fact that they agreed on a settlement is a good thing and a bad thing. Now, it's a good thing because you could be asking, well, then maybe they're not really afraid. Maybe short sellers aren't afraid if they accepted a settlement, right? Because then they wanted to, to delay this. That's not necessarily a, a good thing because if they're not afraid to delay this, so on and so forth. Now, of course, we were all speculating that these were quote unquote short sellers uh, against the company that didn't want this to go through or at least on the other side. There's a few different reasons. One of them being they were 0.001% shareholder, but I wanna jump into this. So if the status quo is lifted, uh, the conversion ha will happen, the reverse split will happen, uh, and now basically to get into the settlement payment of what's gonna go out to shareholders, what's gonna go out to you, what's gonna go out to me. So the settlement payment will consist of one share of Class A common stock for every 7.5 shares of Class A common stock uh, owned by such retail, such record holders as of the settlement class time. Now this is something that is very, very important to pay attention to. AMC preferred equity units into class A common stock to proceed. The company has agreed to make a settlement payment to the plaintiff's class. This is why it's so important. A lot of people, when they first found out about the AK, they're saying, okay, well, AMC is paying these people to make this all go away. They are paying everybody who owns AMC shares because it says a payment to the plaintiff's class. Okay, so that is me, that is you, that is anybody holding AMC shares prior to the conversion and reverse split. Uh, another thing to note is that you are not going to get 7.5 shares for every share you own now. You will get 7.5 shares for every share you own prior to the conversion and reverse split. So based on the 51 million class shares of common stock, reverse split held by plaintiffs class of March 31st, 2023, an aggregate 6.92 million shares of class A common stock would be issued uh, in the settlement payment with a total of 156 million shares of class A common stock outstanding immediately after giving effect of the conversion. So what this means is that basically after the conversion, after the split, after the payout, AMC's free flow will be around 156 million roughly, exactly 156 million, 200 160,885 class A common stock shares after the conversion reverse split and the settlement payment. The settlement payment will be 6.922.566 million shares payout. Pay, pay attention to this, right? Because we all assume that there is naked shorts out there. If they end up paying out more than this or if they find something out, this is important because this is technically going to be another share count. This has to be uh, another share count, an accurate one, because there's absolutely no way AMC wants to pay out more than they have to with this settlement, right? Keep in mind, the payout of shares outstanding, shares that are owned, every 7.5 shares you own for one of these shares, this has to come out to this number. So that is something that we're gonna have to pay attention to going forward after the reverse split and everything happens. Now, what's bad about this is 
This is going to be approximately 4.4% of the outstanding class A common stock from a pro forma basis. So what this means is AMC, after converting, reverse splitting, basically diluting more, they are going to dilute even more. They're diluting 4.4% even though it's going out to shareholders. Now what this could do is alleviate some pressure on short sellers, alleviate some pressure on the cost to borrow fee, so uh, et cetera, et cetera. However, what I wanted to pay attention to is that we did not rally before the conversion reverse split. Will we rally after the conversion and reverse split is the question. And if we don't, then we could be in trouble. And that's going to be for a later video um, touching on Adam Aaron, the SEC, so on and so forth. No fractional shares of Class A common stock will be issued as a part of the settlement uh, in lieu of any fractional shares of Class A common stock that a registered shareholder would otherwise be entitled to receive as a result of settlement payment, the company, the company will arrange for deposition of fractional interest by causing a transferred agent. So basically what they're saying is if you have fractional shares, that's going to be paid out in cash. Uh, they're not going to make this super complicated. If you have fractional shares, they're just not going to count them. We'll send you a check, whatever. It's not going to be a big check uh, for fractional shares, right? Because you can only have one fraction. So that's basically it um the reverse stock split the conversion and the settlement payment are subject to the lifting of the status quo quo which requires a, a court approval which has not been given the company will provide a further update so on and so forth so expected timeline of events we don't have a timeline uh hopefully the court won't take long for this both of the parties agreed to the settlement the court shouldn't take long so you can expect something to happen very very soon which is why you're seeing a major drop in amc uh, and a little bit of a rally in the ape trying to close that arbitrage gap. But we're going to talk about that in a later video. Now, before we close out the video, this could potentially raise up to $16 billion in equity, according to analysts for AMC. This would not only wipe out debt, but would it would give AMC over $10 billion uh, of free cash flow, of free equity, basically to do whatever they want. And a company we know with no short thesis has no reason to short against it plus all of these shareholders holding shares. However, we saw GameStop go uh, cash flow positive and it had a 50% rally and they're smacking it back into the floor, which is something I kind of wanted to touch on, right? Because short thesis, this short thesis, that shorts are trapped in this play. Even if AMC started going cash flow positive and cleared a lot of debt, something else does have to happen for shorts to actually want to start covering and want to get out of this play because they are essentially going to go bankrupt. The hedge funds, the mark makers, the, the bigger institutions that are short this. Overall guys, this is the settlement. This is the breakdown of it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I wanted to touch on this. I wanted to give my thoughts on it and clear it up. Um, I am not selling AMC. I am not selling Ape. I'm going to let it ride with how this plays out and I'm letting it ride to zero and I, or I'm letting it ride to moon. So that is it guys. Make sure to join the Discord linked under the video so you can talk with me on the daily, get access to options, trading alerts, and we have 400 of the most amazing members in there are ready. Plus guys, you will get my trades as soon as I make them. I do still hold my GameStop puts currently uh, as I'm making this video. I do still own my GameStop shares, so don't come at me. Uh, but let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Does this piss you off? Does this make you happy? Are you excited to see what happens or are you essentially just holding uh, and, you know, just winging it? Let this thing ride to zero or let this thing ride to moon. That is it, guys. Make sure to like the video on your way out. And if you want the 17 free stocks, make sure to download Moomoo Moo using my link. It's the top link in the description. Once you download it and sign up using my link and make a deposit, it can literally be any amount. It can be a penny. You are going to start earning free stocks from there. Plus you get access to level two order book data, viewing other exchanges so you can see how the US exchange may open, access to trading crypto, going long, going short, and more. So that is it guys. I love you all. Lottery stocks out.